You know, sometimes you wake up and um, there's a song stuck in your head, you know? And this morning it was Thunder Road by Bruce Springsteen for me. I saw a film recently called Blinded by the Light. Don't know if anyone's seen it. About a, a young Asian guy who becomes a Springsteen obsessive. Fantastic film if you're a, a big softy like me. I would thoroughly recommend it. I wouldn't say Springsteen was by any means my favourite artist, but when I grew up in the 1970s and was a kind of acne-ridden teenage nerd buying sounds and melody maker, uh, NME was a bit too, uh, bit too hip for me, I'm afraid. When I grew up reading those papers, then 70s, everyone was talking about who's going to be the next Bob Dylan, you know, and they'd select six people and... Springsteen's name was always up there, but I always think it's the, the sign of a great artist when you stop being the next something and nobody talks about it anymore and you're just Bruce Springsteen. Dylan's probably one of the greatest rock poets ever, I would say, maybe the greatest, but what strikes me about his poetry is that the imagery is kind of almost inaccessible. It's like watching an abstract painting in a art gallery and you kind of like it but you don't quite get it when I listen to Springsteen although I'm a you know comfortable middle class boy it seems to me that Springsteen's talking about an American dream that's maybe achievable so I kind of think he speaks to probably the the unemployed car worker in Detroit and he probably speaks to the construction worker in his home state of New Jersey and when I listen to Thunder Road it's a kind of invitation you know a guy rocks up at a girl's house in a car probably a Mustang probably a Chevy something like that knowing Springsteen and um, he's kind of saying to her well give up all this kind of stuff uh, and come away with me when you listen to the lyrics, that don't don't run back inside, darling. You know just what I'm here for. He's saying, just just come with me. You know, give up this. And and later on in the song, he talks about your graduation gown lies in rags at their feet. It's like he's telling her to break free from all the conservatism and um, come on a bit of an adventure with him. Of course, he might just want to have sex with her. We've got to admit that possibility. And we don't actually know by the end of the song whether the girl goes with him or not. But, um, yeah, it's nice to think that she would. And um, it's also got a lot of heavy imagery of it, like um, burnt-out Chevrolets as, uh, as he trucks along the freeway. The kind of... These seem to be the dreams, the broken dreams. And uh, at a time in America now where we've got a very, very strange political situation. Springsteen, I think, is probably a, a socialist. Socialist, certainly by American standards. His anti-Vietnam War songs and his railing against closed factories and stuff. Definitely a man with a social conscience and... Uh, Interesting, he moved to California, I think, for a few years, which was seen as kind of his least productive or creative period. And uh, I can't really see that Springsteen and, and the kind of Hollywood stuff would, would ever sit comfortably. Uh, yeah. Oh, the song's gone. Never mind. So he, he talks about, you know, there's another song coming on now. I don't want this one, whatever it is. He talks about, in Thunder Road, he talks about, hey, you're no beauty, but that's all right. So it's not the it's not the perfect Hollywood couple scenario of two gorgeous people poncing about down the catwalk, lapping up, flipping film awards and stuff like that. I mean, that, that really doesn't speak to me at all. And I think the romance of America is definitely on the road. Um, the freeways, the cars, these big 50 footers from the 1970s. I think those are the kind of things that would ever attract me back to America. And I've been there seven or eight times, but 
right now until you get rid of the orange monster I'm definitely not interested there's another line in another Springsteen song that asks the question is a dream a lie if it don't come true or is it something worse well I don't know the answer to that one but it's one hell of a good line just trying to find a picture of Springsteen there he is there he is there's the man with his car what's that is that a Chevrolet Mustang Corvette can't help you I'm not a car expert but I thought I'd do this um I thought I'd do this video from inside my car I'm not really a materialist but if there is one thing that I do love then it is my car so I'm gonna show you it pure vanity I know but oh dear That was Brigitte. Brigitte and I have been together for over 20 years now. She's she's 52, but you know, body work on her is superb. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Bruce Springsteen, so have a good day.